you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. What's up YouTube and what's up all my fellow flight simmers? Hoping that everybody's having a wonderful day today. I have some good news for Xbox users. We will be getting another new fantastic plane in the near future. Hopefully by Christmas or early January. And that is the F-35 Lightning II by India Fox Teco. So India Fox Teco has launched some interesting military airplanes for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Even though Microsoft Flight Simulator is a civilian platform with no chances of waging war with one another, we all have the joys of high speed flight and flying maneuverable aircraft. This part can't be overlooked. So it's great to see some developers filling that role. Uh, India Fox Teco also brought us the T-45C Goshawk which is on the Xbox Marketplace, which is one of my favorite planes in the game. It is a trainer specifically for aircraft carrier landings. And it's just a great plane to fly, fast, very agile. Something I take out all the time. But uh, they've been working on this f-35 for months and they say that it is now at the stage where it's 99.9 percent .9 done with beta testing that started i believe last week i know beta testing has now closed for it and it is currently being beta tested at this very moment so that is a very good sign but uh for some time on this plane the details were very sparse in the last few weeks so it was good to see an update was released about this plane and how things were going. Uh, India Fox Techco shared a few details about what is going on with the 35 with some awesome new images, which I have here, and some first seat trials of the F-35B in Microsoft Flight Simulator. There will be three versions of this plane on release. There will be a A, B, and C, uh, a standard takeoff and landing version. There will be the VTOL version because this plane is able to take off vertically. And there will also be the catapult version for aircraft carriers. They said after the latest internal review, we think we have cleared most of the quality issues that drove our decision to delay the release of the F-35. But at the moment, the project uh, release date, well, when this is actually prior, it was November 15th. But uh, now, as I said, it's around Christmas or first of January. Uh, and they said this is because it makes no sense as Sim Update 7 is planned for November 18th and is supposed to fix a number of shortcomings of the simulator for supersonic fighter jets. Moreover, there's always a chance that Sim Update 7 may break some of the features of this plane. So they decided that they would wait for the release of Sim Update 7 check that everything still works and if there is any important improvement that could be made they were going to make those improvements with the release of the f-35 so they took the extra time and said it'll be spent in adding some features that we previously decided to leave out of the initial build but now we're going to work in so it says rework the autopilot interface and they're going to add uh, static carrier companions it says they do not like the static carrier approach as it is not very realistic, but it is a much requested feature. Do not expect anything as good as the DCS super carrier, but at least you will be, you will be able to perform launch and recoveries. And if you set 30 knots wind from the bow to the approach dynamics, it's still not realistic, but it's still not incredibly awful. Um, it says that basically how this will work is on these aircraft carriers there uh will be a few of them that will come with it as a companion but uh it's not the best of options of how it works but it's definitely better than the static aircraft carriers that we have but basically it says when you put down your catapult arm in the plane it will simulate a catapult takeoff and when you're coming down to land when you have your tail hook dropped, it will simulate a tail hook grab landing. But in that same aspect, it says that with that feature, it will the plane will also act the same way 
whether it's on aircraft carrier or not. So that part kind of sucks because you could be on a runway and you could still take off like you're on an aircraft carrier, like a catapult, and uh, or you could still catch on a runway. But, I mean, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to help satisfy the community, which is great. I love that they're going out of their way to help make it more realistic, you know, for the users and are doing something that at least helps in some way give us you know a more realistic landing on aircraft carrier versus us just having these static carriers that do absolutely nothing of anything so i am glad to hear about that so that is neat um it does it does say that there will be updates on this in the future after release so we can expect more things about that as well so now let's talk about some things about the actual aircraft so for those who don't know the f-35 has a uh, a pcd type of system for the screen uh, it's one glass display all computer and it stands for primary control display PCD so the PCD occupies the center stage under the canopy of the F-35 as it's the main interface of the stealth aircraft pilots can access a variety of functions through the PCD for independent portals where most of the systems can be managed India Fox Teco tells us that these portals are divided into pages, which are assigned to functions and systems of the F-35. Many of these systems related to the aircraft's fighting capabilities like sensors and weapon systems. So these will not actually be usable in the game, but they will be aesthetically represented, which is cool, and I'm glad that they're keeping them in there. So this is just to help us understand what is being implemented for the civilian version of the F-35. So some functions that will be in in this screen, you you obviously will have autopilot, will pop up, fully functional data input via virtual keyboard. We have a checklist mode with real world checklist. We adapted this page to fit into the Microsoft Flight Simulator rendition. It will have CNI, communication, navigation, identification, COM A, COM B, VOR, VORTAC, IFF, and audio control functionality implemented. Data can be entered via virtual keypad. And that's talking about the keypad inside the actual display, which you'll see in the images. Um, it will have DTM, data management page. Basic functionality will allow the pilot to review GPS data, waypoints, in this reality, this page is also used to store and send and receive images, videos, emissions, data, etc. It will have EFI, electronic flight instrumentation, fully functional. It will have an engine page, which will be fully functional. It will have your FCS, which is your flight control system, which will also be fully functional for accessibility, gameplay reasons, some uh, STOVL functions are controlled in the page, even if in real life, they are assigned to hold its control. Uh, the field will be fully functional. Uh, as far as your HUD, partial implementation, not all symbolic is implemented, but most is. Uh, the iCalls, the integrated caution and warning system page, partial implementation of the system, supports only a subset of the real world caution and warning messages. The PHM, the Prognostic and Health Management page, basic implementations will only report systems availability and functionality. The SMS, Store Management System, minimum functionality, it will only be possible to control the weapon doors. Obviously, like I said, this is a civilian version of the aircraft. And then we have the, uh, the TSD, the Tactical Situation Display. Another partial implementation page will only show the current waypoint, VOR, or VORTAC estimated positions. Also, to save memory at the moment, only one TSD screen is available. In reality, there are three separate pages, which is not a big deal. You know, this is a very sophisticated aircraft. You know, this is a stealth fighter. Uh, 
I'll list some more important functions here that will also be on the display screen. Uh, you'll have air to surface radar, you will have distributed aperture system, search mode, targeting forward, looking infrared, air to air weapons, air to surface weapons. But uh, the fun stuff won't work, obviously, but that's not to be expected. While we know a military fighter jet will always be severely handicapped in its abilities inside Microsoft Flight Simulator, many simmers like myself just like to fly them around and take advantage of the performance, such of uh, of an airplane. You know, it's an absolute looker. It's beautiful. It's state of the art. It's futuristic looking. And uh, as it says here, to round things up, a couple additional notes. It says the India Fox Deco has said that. The plan is to release the F-35 on the Xbox. It says the release date is vague. But the estimate is approximately one month. So, that will put us right around Christmas and right around January. So, very excited about that. This is going to be a great plane to fly. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I love the whole visual display you know the whole the whole thing you know the whole screen the the primary control display how it's all just computer you know it's all it's all done by you know your fingers you touch it and it's touch screen it's just super super neat super super futuristic but uh i wanted to share some of that great information with y'all about this i will leave some links below so y'all could read up on this plane but uh, I cannot wait to get my hands on this. And I'm so glad that they decided to add a companion aircraft carrier with it. Even though it doesn't work truly the way it should. It still works in a way that's more realistic than what we have. And I am happy about that. And can't wait to see these planes also in the air. So hopefully we will be getting this and the Concorde right around the same time. Maybe by the grace of God, maybe we will also get the CRJ. Because at that time, I'm not going to know what to do with myself. That would be like three great planes I want to get. At that point, I might be like, man. Because it's hard for me to fly multiple planes at a time and learn. Because like usually I take one plane and that's complicated. And I'll spend a good few weeks learning the plane. And then I'll move on to something else and do the same thing. So... Want to release this information to all my Xbox users out there. Y'all know I keep my Xbox users informed. I don't leave you out. I say strictly on things that are Xbox and PC together and not just PC. So, as always, guys, happy flying out there. Hope everyone's having a nice night. I am slowly getting better. Still feel like crap, but my viewers deserve the best. So, until next time, guys, happy flying. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe and like button. And as always, until next time, happy flying, guys. Pilot0083, signing off.